12 hours a day. What is going on my lovely, lovely friends? Candace B here. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Hello, how you doing? If you are a subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? I hope everyone is doing phenomenal. I hope everyone is having a great trading week. It is NFP week, so guys, I am not trading this week. Well, not intentionally, like I did intend to trade this week. I did my market outlook. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out now. But man, the markets have not been showing me anything, especially when it comes to GJ. I just have not been seeing my setup. So you know what I'm doing? I'm sitting on my hands and I'm keeping it moving. And it's Wednesday at the time of this recording. So at this point we're midweek, you know, NFPs on Friday. I personally think I'm just gonna take this one on the chin. I'm just gonna chill this week and I'm gonna do a reaction video, another Forex related reaction video. I thought, why not? I have the time, let's just do one. And I had someone DM me a while back and they're like, hey, have you checked out this guy who runs KB Trading? I'm like, KB Trading? No, I've never heard of it. And then I checked out the person's YouTube. I'm like, oh wait, I have, I've seen this guy. So basically, long story short, back when lockdown started, you know, this whole panoramic started, um, I saw this guy and he was doing like YouTube vlogs. He's from the UK. So he was doing trading vlogs like day in the life of a trader during lockdown. And I love the way he was editing his videos and filming them. So I was like, oh, this dude is super cool. But yeah, after that, I haven't really watched him. So I thought it was super coincidental that um, I had someone who recommended me react to this gentleman's video. So I'm going to do that today. And it's a really quick video, but the name of the YouTube channel is Sam KB. And the title of the video is how many hours should I spend trading per day? So I feel like this is gonna be quite an informative video just because, you know, this is a really good question. I feel like a lot of us should ask ourselves this, like, you know, how much should I personally be trading per day? How much can my lifestyle, my personality kind of handle in terms of trading per day? For me personally, I try to keep it between a window, you know, between London, New York session. I know some people will only trade like 6 a.m. Eastern time to 8 a.m. Eastern time, like very specific. So I think it's a very good question to ask ourselves. So I'm curious to know what Sam is gonna talk about in this video. It's very quick, like I said. So if you guys like these type of videos, I need you to pause right now, go down, scroll, and like this video because, you know, that helps me to know if you like reaction videos, I will keep making them, obviously. And while you're down there, you might as well subscribe, stay a while, hang out with me. Oh my goodness, I look so crazy, but you guys are still here and I appreciate you. You're a real one for that, okay? That being said, let us get into this video. So how much you have time to split between actual trading and doing your research? Yeah, good question. So Wait, I don't think this is Sam. He looks different, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe this is someone who he like runs his program with, I'm assuming this is a class of some sort. So maybe he does, I don't know. I don't think this is the same guy, but maybe it's one of his colleagues. <laughs> so, trading, actually, you know, typing, trading, putting orders in, trailing stops, all the rest of it, probably about an hour a day. When you add it all together. I mean, it's, it starts, it's 24, it's 24, five, but you know, I check, I check the markets every hour and you know, 20% of that time I'll need to trail a stop, I'll need to get out something. So it's not, not a lot. That's why most of the time is at the screen doing, developing this. So it's almost like an algorithm. What is on that screen? What is that? It doesn't look like a chart. It kind of looks like um, indicators. Like, you know, when someone has like a crazy chart to start with and their indicators are like all over the place when they're beginner. I don't know what that is. The way I do it, but I like to get the market experience. I like to do it by hand because you literally need one thing that works like this to, to make a lot of money. That's it. And people, this is- What is that? Oh, equity curve. Based on previous three months. Okay, okay. I was just like, what is going on? I just see a bunch of squiggly colorful lines. Like, what is that, you know? was confused. I think people chase, <laughs> people chase 100% years. I <laughs> Yeah, it, it's not a thing, it doesn't work, you know? So, this, you know, people are impatient and stuff like that, but look, just to answer your question, <clears throat> there's, there's one or two of these strategies I have. It'll take up an hour and a half, maybe two hours, depending on, you know, what's formed and etc. 
the biggest mistake a lot of people make is they'll spend 12 hours of their day staring at charts actually trying to trade, yeah. buying and selling. Now, there are strategies where that is absolutely necessary, you know, people who trade. 12 hours a day. If you are watching this and you spend 12 hours a day on the charts, I don't know how you do it. I'm sure it's for a good reason. I mean, if you're like studying, if you're just at the beginning of your trading journey or just like throughout your trading journey and you're back testing and you're putting in work, you know, that could take up a good amount of the day, but 12 hours, I'm sorry. I personally love to sleep, even though sometimes I have insomnia, but like 12 hours, that's a lot. That's a lot of time. But hey, if, if that's working for you and you're grinding, then I guess to each their own. Perhaps futures on the short term, scalping and things like that. But there are people who trade like we trade, people who we teach to trade, and they're never not clicking that mouse because it's, you get a little bit of a buzz out of it, right? And instead of spending, you know, eight hours of their day studying and doing research and an hour yeah. trading, managing orders, they're actually spending eight hours of their day clicking. That's Sam. That's him. That's Sam. Okay, are they British? Like, it sounds like a UK accent, but it kind of sounds Irish. Am I tripping? I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm the one tripping, but it sounds like an Irish accent, kind of. But I'm pretty sure they're from the UK. Somewhere in the UK. Maybe not London, but yeah, their accents are really cool. In the mouse, and they're spending an hour of their day to just quickly rattle through some back testing. They might get all this data done. They might do it. But it'll go in an Excel folder, and it'll never get looked at. They'll never do all that, you know, picking it apart, trying mm. to determine conclusions, and that kind of thing from it. We've had guys on the trading floor who aren't with us just now. I don't mean they died, but you know, they're, they're no longer trading with us. Um, and they fell. Yeah, we, we, we've had guys trade with us on the trading floor who will sit there eight hours a day gathering statistics, doing the data, doing the research, doing the back testing, and they'll have you know, 10 Excel spreadsheets full of data and they'll never touch. They won't touch a chart? I didn't hear the ending, but that's crazy. I mean, if you're gonna be studying and making charts like and timetables and all that type of stuff, spreadsheets, I would hope you are going to execute on the charts. That's crazy. But yeah, that was a super quick video. Um, just of it, I really just wanted a conversation to be started. You know, how many hours do you think is appropriate to be spending trading per day? You know, let me know in the comment section down below how many hours do you trade? Did that change from your beginning, like the beginning of your trading journey till now? I think me personally, um, definitely how much I trade, I'm actually on the charts, that definitely has reduced. For example, like I said, I am literally not trading this week. Um, usually before, you know, old Candace, I would be like, oh, I need to find, you know, a setup. I need to do something. But every week I feel like I'm learning, you know, to just be patient more and more. So it's just like, okay, if there's no opportunities, if I don't see it, maybe there will be tomorrow. Maybe there will be one before NFP, but if I don't see it, then I'm not going to trade. So I feel like it varies depending on the market conditions. It depends on your personal life, etc. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and hit that like button and definitely send me more Forex videos to react to if you would like. And last but not least, do not forget to subscribe so you know when I post another video. And in the meantime, feel free to check out any of my other videos on this channel and my other channel, Candice BTV, where I vlog. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you in the next video. Have an amazing, phenomenal, exquisite, day, week, and life. Bye.